Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my first uh, project for my second term on the awesome and lovely Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. I'm just so thrilled um, to be back that, that Jody trusted me to come back and do another term for her. It's just a wonderful, wonderful small business and just an awesome, awesome team with Jody, Sarah, Daisy, getting us all organized and all of my lovely teammates, um, old and new. So in May, in May we are so we are partnering with uh, Scrap and Happy Studios, and a really fun printable collection. And you know I've been playing around with printables lately. I even started, but I haven't really done enough uh, a hybrid scrapbooking sort of series on my channel. Uh, so this is right up my alley. And this is a fun one. It's a ha let's hang out and get crafty. So it is all about crafty. And I mean, May, of course, is International uh, Scrapbooking Month in my book. I know Saturday is International Scrapbooking Day. This week, uh, there's all sorts of fun activities as well. The team here is being introduced to you. and But, you know, so this collection is just perfect for this month. It's really, really, really fun. Now, just if anybody wants to know, I have two types of paper that I like using for printing printables. And if you go over also on Sarah's channel, uh, she has a whole series um, of hybrid scrapbooking that she did with um, Scrapping Amy, with Amy, One Mommy Scrapping here on YouTube. I use either the Epson uh, matte, uh, professional presentation paper or, um, the HP. I have an HP printer, so I use the HP, uh, as well. If you would like, like, specific details or links to either of those papers, just let me know down below. So, we have paper and we have fun die cuts. So, look at these gorgeous little sloths and paint tubes. Um, some scissors and coffee cups and florals and hearts, uh, some more florals and tabs and arrows, um, washi tape, my nemesis. Look, none of those are cut out, my friends. None of those are cut out. Paintbrushes, scissors. So all sorts of fun goodies. You can see here that I've printed quite a few out. And then we have paper. Now there are a lot more uh, pattern papers to this collection than what I have here. And this whole collection, I think, is about $10. Um, and she's got quite a few fun ones, a gorgeous, gorgeous spring one there, a really cute little puppy one. Uh, we need a kitty one, by the way, just saying. We need a kitty one, my friend. All right, so what I think I am going to do with this. And then, of course, Jody naturally did this gorgeous Scrap and Happy sequin mix, mix, pardon me, to go along with this collection. And it is, is it not just perfect? So what I am doing, I'm doing one of my six page double pages that's going to go into my reading, watching, and eating um, album. And it's going to be about the crop and create delivered weekend. Uh, I'm going to record it, talk about it. I, I often don't really get to um, spend the entire weekend just doing that. First of all, it's a little too much for me, quite honestly. So what I like to do with some of these large weekend uh, crops uh, is watch as much as I can throughout um, my weekend and mix it in with whatever else I am doing, chores and outings and whatever else. And then over a couple of months, I extend the pleasure and get the projects done and, and re-watch and revisit. Um, I do make sure I sort of watch the fun um, intros and ending of the day. 
as well. So I just printed out the logo here, uh, Crop and Create Delivered Paper Crafting with the date so that I would have that here. And I think this will just come over here. I used, um, there are some solid papers in this collection. And then you know how I love my one third, two thirds. That brings in all of the colors, this lovely polka dot paper. Get that there. Then uh, my next question to you is I wonder, should I get, maybe, yeah, but then you see I have a lot of embellies in that color, so I don't know that I really need to do that. We'll see. So I have this. Then on this side, what I really want to do, I'll sort of maybe get a little bit of a title in there relating to, to me and this kind of activity and how much fun it is. Um, and then I fussy cut out this hanging out with my crafty friends. Life is better when you're crafting and maker of pretty things. And this lovely grid paper that's part of the collection as well. Now my idea, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tack this down with you because I have a fun idea. Well, at least I think so. I hope you'll think it is as well. Idea. I'm going to sort of pop that there. Then... Just do one little life here is life is better with when you're crafting and then this one here. Now you see I think I've put this a little too high because you're going to see in a minute. Ooh bring this down a little bit because you're going to see in a minute what I want to do. I think it's going to be fun. Okay, so sort of something like that. And then what I want to do, so I've done, uh, I've gone in and I've die cut some circles because what I really would like to do is, you see, do two fun shaker pockets. One here and one here. That, you see, is my idea. I'm going to go over and die cut this paper and then do fun little shaker pockets where I can put up that. This one will be actually the same size and then just get these fun multicolored papers in there, you see, to be the outline of, isn't that going to be fun, and two fun shaker pockets. So that is my idea and of course I'm going to use the Scrap and Happy obviously in there. But then I also have these wide open spaces, which are very, very recent, which I think match quite well as well. And so I'm wondering whether I might do one of each so that I have a little bit of this left for another project or whether I would just pop in the teensiest little bit of the wide open spaces in here. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm leaning towards doing maybe one of each. We'll see. Now, my question um, to you, but you can't answer me, so I guess my question to myself is, would I do this over, but then I'm going to lose... Yeah, see, then I'm going to lose some of the words, aren't I? So that sort of... No. So I guess we'll leave it... We'll leave it underneath. So that is sort of my idea there. And then over on this side, um, just going to get my photo here. I'm not sure whether I'm going to mat it yet. I'm still thinking of that, but something like here, my creative time. I have these gorgeous florals, which I think we might pop sort of here and there. I'm sort of liking, and then maybe another one here. This kind of just finishing this off in florals. This here ticket to drop till you crop, which I might sort of put over here. 
kind of thing. And then would I want the camera? Uh, not sure. Let's see what color is this lovely little one. This one is sort of, so I'm sort of thinking of just doing a little bit of the florals down here. I may need to fussy cut a few more of those. Although the other idea I had, which I quite like as well, is this fun little journal with the glue bottle that I might pop here kind of thing. We'll see. All right, let me go off and work a little bit more, my friends, and I will come back with you in a second. Well, there you go, my friends, and I just love this. Don't you love this? You know, hanging with my crafty friends and these two gorgeous shaker pockets um, that sort of peek out, and that's what that's what I like. That's what I really wanted to do because what I was talking to you was, was I going to take a little bit of that off, and it just didn't look right to me, so I actually did pop the dies underneath. I left... I left this in place, so I just organized my uh, Gemini so that I wouldn't cut anything here um, and got these two gorgeous shaker pockets. And I did just the little circle, you know, by using, you know, two dies of um, just, you know, one size down inside the larger die so that I could get a little bit of the color around. Uh, backed it all here so that it's all nice and clean with just white cardstock. So it's going to be quite dimensional in the book for sure because I used the Big Mama 2 foam tape, which is actually an eighth of an inch. There is uh, one sixteenth of an inch and one and one eighth of an inch in the foam tapes. They are both amazing. I have used the 1 16th for shaker pockets, but they don't shake as much or you have to put less, but I really, really wanted a lot of gorgeousness, sparkly gorgeousness in here, and I wanted to fill up those pockets and still have them shake, so I used the Big Mama 2, which you can find in the shop for sure. Then, of course, the gorgeous, the acetate here that just keeps on giving. I have two packs of uh, these sheets. And I think, and I, I've been doing, as you've been seeing me, I've been doing quite a few shaker pockets over the last little while. And I think I've only used up maybe a half, a little bit more than half um, of a pack. So it's really, really, really um good 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 value so there you go and then of course these lovely printable collection that we're using this month so i did use uh i'm going to say i pretty much used the entire scrap and have these are just little bits that sort of wouldn't fall out so i'm going to use them just mixed in with my next uh project but i pretty much used the entire pack although I had done just recently, when was it? I did use, uh, I did use these, I think maybe on my um, layout on the first, I can't quite remember, but I, I used these three times. So that's done. And I did pop in, like I said I would, but just the teensiest little bit of Call Me Crafty, just to bring in that brighter teal a little bit. I just, just love it. And then over on this side, I got my photo down, this tab, two of these lovely florals, the journal, the glue bottle here popped up on foam with one of the florals. And so I'm looking at this and for sure I'm going to do some journaling, but I'm just wondering while I'm looking here with you whether I might not want to put that down here and then I could do just you know some white lines here maybe I think I like that to finish it off I do I think I like that to finish it off so let's pop that down here and we'll cut that off so that it's not there's not that awkward sort of little gap there 
there we go i do like that and then would i maybe pop either a camera oh no that takes up too much real estate and it's too much too much turquoise too much turquoise so would i pop oh let's see would i just maybe pop oh i kind of like that it brings it all down and it finishes it off do i like it here here i like it I don't want it too centered there let's pop it there i do i like that it finishes it off what do you think tell me in the comments below did i was that too much or just the perfect little touch i think it's the perfect little touch there we go my friends and then last but not least let's take a little bit of these call me crafty there's always by the way in my videos you can always find uh in any video not just the videos i do for spiegel mom scraps but any video um my affiliate link to the spiegel mom scrap shop because it gets you there quickly you go poof right in there um it does give me a very small commission that helps me with this channel doesn't of course cost you anything more and you can still use my code moira15 so win win let's just put a few see i'm just going to dot a few of these around maybe let's pop yeah you see that one's not showing too much on there but I, you can see it so i think we're going to leave it there something like that then let's come over to this side and pop one here then let's do a nice pink there another teal here and one of these there there we go just so that we also have some sparkly goodness on both sides there we go we'll pop that one there one here and another one there Oh, look at that. We have this nice little white one. Let's just pop that there. There we go, like that right there. And should we pop one there with a little pink one right there? There you go. What do you think, my friends? I think that finishes it off beautifully. We have some gorgeous sparkly goodness on both sides and there you have it i love that this printable collection is just so cute and i enjoy fussy cutting but i'm sure you could probably i don't know anything about electronic die cutting machines so you could probably you know set up whatever kind of machine you have to do